2024 and we get human Damn. envy. Oh my. <laughs> all the hype. Hell yeah. Look how annoyed envy is that he has to play this race. <laughs> <laughs> he hates God, every peasant. single second. He got dying all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh boy. Okay. Mountain King first against the Demon Hunter. Oh, okay. Colorful didn't go for a fast scout. He goes for a passive opening. Ancient of War creep. Demon Hunter. And I guess that makes sense. A strong Demon Hunter is always good in the late game, no matter against what. True, would of course uh, be a little odd. Versus Orc, ah, that could actually work. But yeah, Militia trying to pull, disrupt the creep. Okay, right read by Infi, he went for the Merc right away, expecting Colorful there, and there he is. Here we go. He's got supply open for Shadow Priest, but no gold for it at the moment. Oh, wait. The footy's also going across. Is this going to be a fast tower push, I wonder? With the Mountain King? Yeah, screw it. Screw it! Let's, let's, let's deal with this human gameplay as fast as possible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, my. One MK aggression. Let's go. He got the Shadow Priest. Yeah, that's a big deal, actually. The Shadow Priest is really valuable early game. There's no Lumber Mill coming, so at max it's Arcanes. Emulation, no mana burn. Oh, he's gonna regret that. Oh, he's <laughs> gonna regret that. <laughs> yeah. And the last hit steal. Shadow Priest got the experience oh. for the MK. Okay, that is sick. Perfect start for Infi. Yep. Colorful is losing Wisps here as well. Ancient of War, super far away from the main and no mana burn against the Mountain King. He's already better than his entire group stage. Yeah, better than every of, every one of his hundred games. Every map. You see, Infi, the gods want you to play human. The Warcraft gods. What's the follow up though? Is he just gonna expand now? Do you need a follow up? I mean, Mountain King is strong. Footmen are strong. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I guess you know, rushing into immolation, Demon Hunter might be kind of a bad choice. He slowed the demon hunter down very effectively already. He was able to build up footies and militia, and with that now creeping the natural, can set up an expansion here pretty quick. Demon hunter can then harass this, of course, as long as there's not uh, oh, staff in. As long as there's not an arcane up, I was about to say. Is he able to snack this berserker? Level two oh, now. Damn, dude, that's so sick. Bash unlocked. Perfect lock. timings. Perfect timings all the way through by entry. He is the four race king after all. Gonna lose the footy. Is that level two? No, not yet. Okay, colorful got the mercs. That's helpful. Tier two on the way. Go Stormbolt. DH so hurt. And the Shadow Priest gone. No healing. Oh, that's such a big deal as well. Colorful has no Shadow Priest left after this early game. Infi got one and his own was killed. If Infi gets the big creep here as well, it, it almost seems over. <laughs> I would agree. 2.7 with a handful of bashes. This is very, very playable. So far, a little unlucky. Ancient of War about to fall thanks to the footman pressure. Demon Hunter close to level two and that's that mana burn. But maybe Bash is strong enough. He gets it. War. Yep. He's not healing. Nope. Go it's down. Now. Oh my god. Big creep. Goes to Infi. He's no 2.7. Way, he gets bro. the Ring of Regeneration, of course. Oh boy. What a this setup. Is... And this is exactly how you outplay Colorful. You play He's weird. You play level 1 MK aggression. Then you go to your expansion. You pick up the staff. You come back for a follow up. Colorful is not good on his feet. He's good when he can come in prepared, and he knows what timings to expect. But you throw the monkey wrench in there, Colorful gets lost. And he might be trapped here. Bash on the Berserker. Nice little damage mitigation. Footmen are hurt. Can this Arcane Tower survive? It is almost an instant counter to the Immolation Demon Hunter. 
Damage done, but Arcane survives and Infi, the peasant micro, is looking so sweet. Berserker, is it just not microing that Berserker at all? Thank you for level three. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, he got the Stormbolt. He dart clicks out of the surround. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, dude. And look at the footies also. They're active across the map. They got oh, a yeah. well already. Attacking the next one. Demon Hunter super hurt. This is a perfect early game by Infi. And indeed, what a different showing. Infi. This is your race. This is your race, Infi. This is it. Doesn't kill the Moonwolf. Lots of repair. Panda is out. Colorful is stabilizing to a degree. But the tech has started. The engines of lore are in a very weird spot. And Mountain King is ready to rumble. Warcraft Arglide rumble over here. Getting defend as well. Right when Dryads will soon be joining. God the murder situation is not going to be looking good, guys. This is so beautiful. Can this game last three days? I feel like this game will last about as long as the rifle push is going to take. Yeah, that's a good call. But please. <laughs> oh, the bashes. We get another Burzy, we get the Mauler, and Muddy, the full Merc arsenal thrown <laughs> into nice. Colorful's face. And look at Infi, he's got a footy there placed right away. He knows he can apply pressure here continuously before the Dryads. Like seriously, this is so much better than what Infi showed before. This is your race, bro. Yeah. You know, you know it. I know it. Our viewers know it. Believe it. His viewers know it. Everybody knows it. And he's not gonna do it. He's not. He's not. He is a god gamer with the human race. He's very good with all the other races, but he's also incredibly stubborn. That is true. And always has been, honestly. Yep. This game. There's zero here. Like, all the heroes schooling. are hurt. He's schooling, have, gets a double kill. No bears anywhere. Game. King Fee is back on the menu with one my hero dog. and a couple of footies. <laughs> wow, how awesome is that mug? I want that mug. All right. Dude. You know, when we were talking about predictions at the start of the day, yep. I was not considering this. Nope. And also, wait. Did Infi just giga brain us? Do you remember in the interview when he said, I'm no random player anymore. <laughs> I always pick my races nowadays. Was that just to throw everybody off? Oh. Dude, with Infi, it's so hard. It could have been the plan all along. It could also be the case that he woke up this morning and just decided this or flipped the coin or whatever. So sick. Ah, oh, dude, I'm so glad for this. I thought this first game here in Group D was gonna be just a no-brainer and an yeah. easy steamroll. Yeah. But we got excitement in here now, boys. Infi, of course, has to stick with random as we move on to map two, where it will be Twisted Meadows. Colorful again has to go for the hero blindly. If he doesn't get the Merc Camp spawn, Demon Hunter is a crab hero on Twisted <laughs> against some races. <laughs> Oh boy, we're gonna have it. Orc. Ah oh man, I got excited when I saw that snow entangled and no haunted. And then I saw the hero in the building, so I was like, oh, okay. Oh boy. Orc versus Night Elf on Twisted. This is certainly playable for Colorful, but Infi likes his lames. And Orcs yeah. can definitely lame on this map. Normally, when Infi plays Orc against Elf, he plays Farseer Expo weird stuff. Yep. I'm not sure if I've ever seen Infi play a Blade Master, actually. It is very, very different. Requires a skill set that almost no other hero does. And Farseer is just rather simple and also, of course, close to an Archmage in the way you use it. Demon Hunter again versus Farseer. Good prediction by Mr. Remo Demo.
But the demon doesn't have the merc camp to go for. This is not going to be so easy to level up the demon. First cre creep camp is going to take easily. Why didn't he go for the bigger green, by the way? That's also safe to do on this map. I guess he wants to creep the small green and then eat through the trees and creep the merc camp. Yeah. If that creep doesn't work, it's going to make for a tough early game. And this is, of course, harassable if you figure out the starting position. When you're a random player, it's always a little odd if you're scouting or not, right? Because it gives away your race. But you also want this information what your opponent is doing. It's going to be a fast hack for Infi, by the way. It's faster your grunt, so no shop, no war mill, no second borrow. This is quite the fast tech indeed. Almost as quick as the tech rush with the fast year only. There we go. Two minutes five. Gonna be a lot faster than cut -offs. Yeah, and it is a fast year harass. Man, I wonder if is a really good find. And oh yeah. Oh yeah. If if he gets close to the Farseer, that is a lot of damage and also always against wolves. That is nice. Toxie calls the Farseer Grunt Fire Lord Ooh. Catapult Rush. Okay. Yeah, I... Yeah, that sounds like an Infi strat. And now, not having crept the bigger green is very annoying. Demon Hunter is very far away from level 2. Not a great start. As you pointed out, like, this creep route doesn't work too well against the harassing Farsia. It takes a lot of time to get the mercenary taken out. And it is a war mill. Where's the tech for Colorful? Only starting now. 3 minutes 10. Alright, Infi's gonna try to keep this demon busy. Prevent him from creeping and leveling at all costs. And these grunts that are streaming in are not so easy to deal with, especially for the archers. <laughs> Does the demon need boots? Doesn't have the gold for it right now. Interesting setup. <laughs> Whew. Two former WGL winners clashing. And Infi. The difference that two days make. I wonder if he got motivated by Fly's result. Or Fly was poking fun at him. Like, hey, nah, 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 nah. I made it, you didn't. Or if they made a pact now to save some of the prize money as they are the organizers, of course, as well. The timer is on. After a disastrous, let's be honest, disastrous group stage. Infi here in the Ascension suddenly is to be taken seriously. Yeah. But Colorful also now, finally with some archers, can creep up more. Should certainly get level 2 here. It's the Fire Lord. Toxie with the calls, my dog. He knows a lot of stuff, man. Can he... Uh, well, if, if that's the last hit... No way. Demon Hunter down at 50%. Infi got it! With the Farsia! Oh! Oh, that's so big! Yeah! No level 2 still! Oh! And he got the claws! Oh my god, that's so bad. That's so bad for Colorful. He gets the Huntress Hall. No Dryads. No Bears. Why is the Huntress Hall out there, dude? I have what? no clue. Yep. This is a great inf matchup for Infi. You make things weird. <laughs> yeah. Colorful panics. Can you believe it? Infia's supply block though, not sure if that was the plan. So the follow-up is a bit delayed. Demander can still do fairly well here, his right click. The slippers is, again, very good for him. The real trouble starts when nighttime is over. Dude, this could be a game of like 1.14 or something. Farsia Fire Lord, off we go. Oh my god, the Chinese overlay counts the splits on the lava spawns? Hell yeah. Next level technology. Oh my god. I've seen the future now. We do not have demolishes though. Also, no peons coming for a tower push. Infi's end goal here, not quite clear yet. 
just grunts and apparently raiders. Move well down. A lot of grunts, by the way. Grunts, in most cases, not looking that popular at the moment. But here, Infi, quite fond of them. Early, early brute strength, by the way. They're quite beefy. It is a good upgrade. Breath of Fire doesn't do much against them. Whereas Headhunters, it, of course, the panda is great against grunts. I'm not too sure. Drunken Haze will be amazing against Raider Lame if that is Infi's play. The lowers are so late, man. Where are the lowers at? One is coming now. Pillage. Raider lame. Alright. Only thing missing is like some peons for some towers, maybe. Wouldn't be too surprised to see that soon. Ancient of War. Protecting the front door. Buying some time here, maybe. No tier so 3. Dangerous here to guard with the archers, by the way. You can yeah. get caught by ensnares. Yeah. It's a Huntress Hall here. Infi snacks that one as well when Pillage is finishing. He needs heal selves and or heal scrolls, though. Yeah, true. All the grunts quite bruised. Oh, it's nighttime now. The Moonstone nighttime we can make use of to get the heal throw at the shop. Oh, that's <laughs> sick. Nice. Sabotaging yourself. He even... Pay Colorful just paid so Infi can get a heal scroll. And Infi now is just going to creep the camp, I guess. Oh, I guess it's disrupted. But zero mana. Panda in a surround under the net. Wolf can't block it. There might be another ensnare, but where's the follow-up damage? Infi a little careful with the heroes here. Ensnare net is ready though. Panda dead. No staff on the demon. Infi is getting further and further ahead. 14 food lead. Shop up for grabs. The defensive AP here is extremely strong against the grunts and raiders. If the raiders don't get to it too easily. Colorful might be stabilizing in the main base, although we're not done yet. Demon Hunter, Archers all up for grabs here. Incinerate coming in. Level 2 now on both of the Orc heroes. Two Archers quickly disappear. There's another heal scroll. Infi has momentum again. Playing around the ensnare cooldowns here. What's the next target gonna be? Panda back. Heal scroll used. Little bit of moon juice. If you close that surround, it's guaranteed staff usage. But Infi starts to lose some units here. Panda though, dead again. I guess so many yep. snares. You don't even have to surround this panda. At least cheap to revive, I guess. TP out now. He's just clicking on the heroes. Triggers his inner undead. And the shop on the low ground now. This guy oh. looks like Razor Man, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Just grunts, raiders, hero focus. Let's go. Telly staff to get back home to get the selves and the clarities and the speed scroll, maybe. Colorful is desperate and thirsting for XP. What's the big item going to be? This could be quite something. The right one from the troll. The right item could close out the game, perhaps. Ring of the Arch Magi is a good one. Devotion Aura for Colorful is nice, though. Only physical damage on the Horde side. Demar, by the way, lacking level 3, whereas the Farseer has it. How important was that steal earlier? Yeah. This AP, though, might save Colorful's life. He has another heal potion. Panda is back with the staff once again. Fire Lord has only a heal scroll. No heal potion when he was home. Little bit of mana to work with. Infi, brute force. This is the tower push with Cat uh, with uh, Kodos now. Heal scroll used. The Panda revive simulator. Third kill on the second hero. AP now very exposed. Oh my god, so much damage. There's no way he can hold on. Infi might be doing it here with a 2-0. First he wins his first map, now he wins his no first series way. when it matters. He was just oh. saving 
the real strats and the real performance. And Enfi wins against Colorful with random 2 and 0. Hell. Yeah, King Fee. Up, buddy. King Fee. And now go all the way. Now do it again, bro. Now knock them all out. Insane. This guy. From hell to heaven. After a disaster of a group stage here, Infi going to his random. The four race king beats Colorful 2-0. Especially against Colorful, I think random a really good choice. Will he do that again? He's moving on into the next round. Our last game of the day, he's gonna be meeting Soen. And at least in the past, at least on paper, Orc was always considered to have difficulty with random. <laughs> oh my god. Might, might we see some random? Or is Envy gonna go back to Night Elf? Night Elf is probably his best race these days. But man, I'm pretty sure we all wanna see him play.